Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here. Today we have round two of the official Small On Tournament. I am playing Boat. If you guys missed round one and my return to tournaments after a year of not playing any Small On Tournaments, uh, feel free to check it out. I'll link it down below. I played Finchinator round one. So obviously we are in round two now. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and if you're new to the channel as well, like my end of the year goal is 300k. Now, this is my... <laughs> This will be my third Sword and Shield OU game since November, so we'll see how it goes. Have fun. I'm going to make sure I ignore spectators because we are on Smog Tour so people can actually see this. Um, check Specephalon. Weavile goes crazy here. Offensive Buzzwell is insane. Just got to figure out if that's Bandit or Specs Dragapult. I don't know what Melmetal is running at the moment. I know that Needle King, when it comes in, it gets a kill, but their team is so fast it might not even matter. Uh, I am pressure on Weavile and I want to lead off with that because if they lead off with Lele, I can figure out based on its ability if I'm faster or not. Again, I'm pretty rusty, man. I'm pretty rusty at Sword and Shield, pretty rusty at Tours, so bear with me. It's going to take me a little while. And if I, even if I lose in this game or this tour, I'll do something else. But yeah, Weavile matches up really well. Yeah, I mean, Weavile matches up super well versus their team. Also, I'm fairly confident Bandit Weavile. Kills top of Lele. Yeah, we're knock off. That's what I thought. So yeah, we're gonna lead off with Weavile. Lead it off with Melmetal. Not the matchup I like to see. I don't know if this is Toxic or T-Wave, but I do have Dragapult. Uh, they, I mean, excuse me, I do have Slow, uh, Slowbro. They may double out to Blacephalon, but I have Blissey, so I don't really care too much about that. Let me see my team as well, because I'm kind of forgetting my team as I play. Oh, you. Uh, heal bell toxic, so we gotta be careful about that. If you go right for thunder punch, that is 38%. We don't see leftovers. Uh, I don't remember damage calcs at all, so again, <laughs> get bear with me, man. Bear with me. That might be that's definitely not choice band, right? That's not choice band, so that is probably assault vest. I'm just gonna teleport here, just my best all around play. Um, again, that could be AV Melmetal, that's definitely not banded, that's for sure. It's definitely not protect the pads either, so that's great. I like the idea of bringing out my uh, my Corviknight, and because I am max special defense, and I simply only need this for this Pokemon, I'm going to U-turn because I won't die to Thunder. I better not die to Thunder. I'm not. <laughs> let's calc. We're in a tournament. Let's 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 not play crazy. I better not die to Thunder. I am I am max special defense, right? So like, oh hell yeah, I eat this up. Let's go on a U-turn here. They do have Thunder. They are Choice Specs. Perfect. Um, again, that is 100% Choice Specs. It can only do that much with Choice Specs. So I can bring out Needle King now. I think Ice Beam is incredibly obvious for me to throw off. So I'm going to go for Earth Power here. Ice Beam is like the most obvious play in the world because I know they're Choice Locked. So we know they're Specs, which means we've all always be faster. I don't want them going Bacephalon, I don't want them going that. Yep, they go Melmetal, perfect. Which was Assault Vest, and I can figure, uh, I can finish it off with a Flamethrower while also hitting Landers at the same time. So it's just a good all-around play. Again, they did scout for that Ice Beam, which is why I made the play I did. And we'll also get to see like what type of Landers it is too. Okay, killer. That took 16. I'm fairly confident this kills you. Toxapex. That took 16 from Flamethrower. Earth. <laughs> I'm clicking Earth Power. I'm not going to predict. Yep, they go Dragapult. So they're uh, they're doubling, uh, which is kind of nice <laughs> for me. I'm going to be completely honest here. It's kind of nice for me. I mean, we got Melmetal Weaken. Uh, their Landers is definitely not faster. Otherwise, they would have tried to pivot into it. Uh, I'm looking super strong now with my with this Mon right here. Oh, I'm dumb. Did you think it had Levitate? It's all good though. So again, Blacephalon is the bigger threat. In terms of what I don't need as much in this game, I'm gonna go slow bro, just in case they want a U-turn. And they do end up going for Dragon Darts, which is no big deal. Uh, that does 46%, so I'm gonna assume that's Bandit. I'm gonna assume that is Bandit. That has to be Choice Band, right? Jolly. Plus one, Dragon Darts. Yeah, that's a choice ban. 
Scald does 17 to 20%. They're at 17. I can throw off a Scald here and safely KO them uh, without having to go for Future Sight and just dying. So we get rid of Dragapult. Awesome. That is the only Pokemon, unless that's Scarf Blacephalon, faster than my Weavile. So that looks incredibly good there. Um, and when they go out into what I'm expecting to be top of Lele, I guess they could go Landers here too. Like I am limiting my switch into the Landers. But yeah, that's really, that's just a really strong start for me, man. Playing around Needle King is always annoying, right? Like, because you always have to assume they're going to go for Ice Beam, but you can't stay in with a threat. And in the Lele situation, it was just so much better for me, right? So, I'm assuming uh, they do end up going Landorus, which is fine. We're going to make the Corviknight play. As they go for U-Turn, no big deal. I'm not worried about uh, this Mon, not worried about Lele. I basically get a free knockoff and I get a kill on Melmetal or I get rid of Toxpex item, which happens to be physically defensive, so I'm pretty sure Earth Power will KO always. Uh, because Flamethrower did... how much? Flamethrower did 16%. Just gonna Roost here. If they Moonblast, what if it doesn't do 24%? That'd be hilarious. Uh, they probably Psy Shock, but that allows them to get in a Weavile. Um, yeah. So, they go for that there. Not a big deal. That's a free knockoff for me, I know there. I like knockoff better just because I get rid of whatever item Toxapex holding, and in the long run, I don't think I'm weak to Toxapex. I literally go Blissey and teleport out into Needle King, which absorbs Toxic Spike, doesn't care, and we're just in a good spot. Rocky Helmet, eject button, ooh. Okay, so, um, Blissey's always my play. I have Blacephalon for this guy as well. We don't have teleport, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just going to Seismic Toss here as they go for Poison Jab. And this is actually such a good turn for me because now they can't really switch into this bot. So um, if I Seismic Toss again, I'm pretty sure Melmetal dies too at 20%. If they go Blacephalon, I'm good. I'm going to click Toxic here. I don't have to click Toxic here though. I, I don't want to get ahead of... I, I want to be, be safe, but you know, let's go for Toxic actually. Toxic is fine. If they go Melmetal, I just bring out Slow, bro. I, I mean, I have Buzzwell as well. Buzzwell also kills this guy too. So uh, we're Toxic here as they go Lele. Now, uh, if they don't kill me with Psy Shock, because what I don't want to do is let a Scarf Blacephalon sweep me, you know? So, top of Lele, spec, Psy Shock does 76% max. Uh, let me put that Thunder again, just to make sure they could ever do that roll with Modest. To Corviknight, 72% with Timid. They did 78%. Uh, could Modest ever do that roll? Nope. So they can never be Modest, which means we know they're Timid. I do live a Psy Shock from Timid Lele. Timid Lele, Psy Shock in Terrain to Blissey does 76% max. Uh, however, I can lose to Scarf Blacephalon if I misplay this. So I think the play I want to make is always Slowbro here. Yeah, because it eats the hit and it gives me a free, gives me a free Weavile after. So it just gives them multiple turns. So yeah, they go Blacephalon, which is like screaming, hey, I am Choice Scarf. Uh, but right now I can just bring right back out my uh, Blissey and Softbolt up. Pivoting into Toxpex is going to be a little bit annoying with them being knocked off with Poison Job, but that means just recover in what, Haze? That means they're probably never going to be able to touch Slowbro. And the second I get off a of Future Sight as well, I'm in a good spot. So maybe they double again here. And if they do double, we get to find out this turn at their Choice Scarf because they would switch before me. If they switch after me, I know they're not Choice Scarf and then my Weavile has a lot more uh, leeway in this game. So they switch first, which means they are indeed Choice Scarf. Scarf confirmed. Buzzwool. Looks a little less expendable. I don't want to really risk yeah, Slowbro is actually really good here too. Maybe they Moonblast again. Or Psy Shock. I'm going to go Slowbro. If they Moonblast, great play. So Moonblast means I get a kill with this guy. It means I always get a kill with this guy. Uh, we throw off an Ice Beam here. They're going to sack Melmetal, but Ice Beam will hit Lando and everything. So I mean, I'm, I'm we're about to be matched in sacks is what I'm saying here. And if they're crazy to go Lando, I'm good. I have Buzzwool to eat that hit too. I think actually the better play was for me to go Buzzwool, but because my Buzzwool does have Thunder Punch and Ice Punch, and it looks like they don't have Scald on Toxabex, they can actually beat their Toxabex 1v1 too. So yeah, we definitely Ice Beam here. And they go Landers, so I get best case scenario. Beautiful. So they're dead. 
Perfect. Perfect. They can't beat me even if they side so that, that was like the best case scenario for me. I'll take it. That's the king, baby. That is definitely the king. So we know there's Scarf Bicephalon confirmed. Which means Blissey will always beat it 1v1. And every time they double out to Lele and they go for a turn, they take 6 plus 12. So they take 18. Yeah, they take 18 every single time. At this point, I do not need my buzz wheel. As knockoff will get me a kill on something no matter what. Am I making it come down to a 50-50 though? By doing that? No. No, I'm not. I don't need buzz wheel as much. They side shock there, they knock me out. It gives me Weavile, which can just click knock off, knock off. That should 2 a KO Tox specs, yep. So that means it forces a KO on Melmetal or Tox specs, both of which I'd be okay with. Okay, right, they give me Tox specs, awesome. As long as I have Blissey alive and no Psychic Terrain, I'm good. So I always go Blissey here as they dump it on Melmetal. 20% HP. There's no way you're faster than 146, dude. I, I can actually run that calc as well based on the uh, earth power doing 64%. That's modest earth power. No, you're not faster than me. No metal at all. Assault vest. 68%. Yeah, that's... You are not faster than me, that's for sure. How much is a metal metal at 20% if it has max HP? Current HP is 95. Uh, as much as I, it's not good to risk this, potentially. Um, how much did I do with Ice Beam as well? Let me look at the Ice Beam. Earth Power did 64%. Oh, I did 64. Yeah, 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 I did 64. Which means... They're not max HP, but they're not faster. Yep. So that, again, that's like something I would do for a tournament, you know. Uh, and all I gotta do is sack Needle King here. And then I win the game. I should be able to win. That, that was just me using like all that and actually trying that turn uh, to, to realize that. Extract you through your card, but I'm not to put mine. Okay, you can. That's fine. Sorry, I was reading something. Uh, so at this point, I go Needle King. They go for side shot, so they lose right now because I knock them off. And we know there's Scarf Bocephalon. There's not one move they can lock themselves into. I just stay in. Actually, they staying in the play. Oh, Scarf, Flamethrower, and Fire Blast does nothing. Even on a crit, it does, 20, it does 25, so good game. No reason to give them a beast boost for no reason. As long as they don't double crit me into burn, I'm good. And this flamethrower, so double crit won't even win. So, that's game. Nice. So, again, just a few calculated plays with Needle King and everything, and kind of got owned by sheer force. I thought the turn switch was my eject button. Oh, man. <laughs> that makes it. That makes sense. All right. Uh, you can challenge game two when ready. Yeah, yeah, because obviously I knocked off a jack button, but I didn't even, like, I had hit them. Oh. So they thought they had brought out Dragapult on the turn. All right, so game two is going to be the ban plus SD chomp that we used last time as well. And I'm not going to be using this every single team, guys, obviously. It just, I just thought for, uh, I just thought for this it'd be decent enough, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, they thought that was their eject button. That okay, that makes sense. That's why they said I'm dumb. Okay, 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 that made sense. That made sense. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this team. And let's get it. Have fun. So uh automatically I see Zapdos plus Tornado, so I know it's gonna be a hard game for Cartana, but that doesn't mean that Cartana's bad. At all. It's gonna be strong, regardless, yeah. I just gotta smash through them with Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp is super good here because they don't have a slow bro, they have a slow king. Um, yeah, it looks hella good because of that. 
I don't know if there's super power in this guy. They don't need to be because Slowking and Blaziken and Lanners all deal with uh, Tyranitar. Actually, yeah. So, uh, and Heatran. So I'm going to assume that it, it can't touch my uh, Tyranitar. So I'm actually going to lead off with Titar here. Trying to Thunder Wave that. Um, if they do lead off with Torn, I'll actually go hard into Zapdos, I suppose, to be safe. But I want to Thunder Wave the Clefable and then get up Rocks as well. Uh, Blaziken is a giant threat to me just as much as my Kartana is to them. Uh, especially if I can get a knockoff, so. I should be alright. This guy is toxic too. I think Blaziken, if it goes for Flare Blitz, it's gonna smash itself with Buzzle's Rocky Helmet and everything. So I'm going for a Garchomp endgame in this one. Uh, am I good enough to get there though? We'll see. But yeah, I like T-Tar. It just gets me a Thunder Wave off early. Tyranitar's role in this game is just to switch in on the bird. Or the birds, but uh, Slow King can take the hitch just as well, even if they're super effective. So, uh, Thunder Waving, Tornadoes will be a step. I don't know if they have Aromatherapy on Clefable. They might. Uh, so, my play right now is to go hard into Zapdos. Maybe they go hard into Landorus. But I could also Ice Beam, so Clefable is always a play too. If they are Sticky Barb, Clef, it's annoying when they do that trick stuff, man. It is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, if I can paralyze this with Zapdos, it's over. Like, that's, that's Kartana, man. And I got it immediately, so. We get it immediately. Uh, that's incredible. I'm gonna throw off a Hurricane just in case they wanna go Landorus. Well, I do have Buzzwool to hit Landorus too, but yeah, I like Hurricane. Now, I'm assuming my Kartana is gonna have the exact same fate that their Tornadus just had, uh, but yeah, Hurricane just seems safe. Uh, they can go Sloking if they really want to, but I can pivot into my own Sloking after that. It goes Zapdos. They took 34% from that. That means they are no... There, There's... That's... I think that's zero, right? That has to be zero HP. Yeah, so that is zero HP, and what I'm thinking is most likely Choice Specs. Uh, we have a Tyranitar that can eat a hit. It being Choice Specs makes it a lot easier, but I'm thinking that's offensive or Choice Specs. Um, I can get up Rocks now if they want to go Landers. Okay, it's just it's just heavy duty boots. So again, yeah, that Para is so strong, guys, because now Kartana kills everything, right? And I can safely bring out Buzzle here. I don't have to care about that Rocks. Just go for Ice Punch. They may go Clefable, but I pivot Slow King. Yeah, Cart literally kills every mon on their team. Holy crap, it goes crazy now. Yeah, we just Ice Punch here always. Whether they go bird or not. Um, they should go Clef. I, I don't think Clef can ever beat Slow King, but I could be wrong. But I'll, I'll go for the safer. The play I want to. Scald or teleport immediately. And a Thunder Punch. They can't kill me in one hit. They go for teleport. Perfect. Blaziken comes out. Now, I am physically defensive. Let's count the banded Blaziken that it definitely is. I chew this up. Holy. So they take 47 to 46% from recoil. So they took Stealth Rock, right? They take Stealth Rock. Because I can, I can actually get away with this percent of Thunder Punch. So they take 37 to 46%. So... Let's say they take the average, right? So let's let's take the minimum, the absolute minimum, because I can get away with uh, close commenting. There's no reason not to, but 88. I guess I can't risk them as Ding, right? Okay, let's CC. Sorry, buddy. They were not killing me if they were bandits, so we go right for CC, and we get rid of Blaziken. Incredible once again for Kartan. Again, that was all calculated. It's not necessarily a, a play. It was more so, and that did 13% as well, which means they were choice banned. <laughs> Ooh, I should have probably calc Adamant. All right, so I had a really strong shot at living that. So they're gone. I can bring out Tyranitar now. Throw off Rock Blast for free. As they Volt Switch. Lando comes out. I don't care. I have a Buzzwool. And uh, I'm just going to Roost. So they are faster than me. That's good to note. They're probably Special Defensive as well. And we're gonna go slow king and start throwing off strong banded knockoffs.
Okay, in this situation, it's hard for me to say don't click Smart Strike because I really, really want to. I think I have to click Banish Smart Strike. Is it? Yeah, this one, this mon is too much of a threat to try and predict the round. Yeah, there was too much drawback. So I'm looking super good right now. Uh, this actually kills Zapdos, but Tyranitar can't be beat down. Knockoff gets a kill whenever it comes out. So I mean, we're looking super good right now. Um, all I get, and that's more than likely Spadef Landers as well. So. Hmm. No reason to throw you away. Got a hurricane for some chip as they miss Toxic. That's fine. I'm just hurricaning for some chip. Uh, just so Kartana can guarantee knock it out. I'm going to Voltage here on Zapdos. Perfect. And that means I can get in Garchomp without even risking the static para. And knock out Zapdos. Perfect. So this should be 100% one now. This should be 100% one. Yeah. All I got to do is sack Zapdos. Bring out you. Click knock off. I win the game. Sorry, you take too much, brother. <laughs> you take way too much. It's a good game. Yep. Good game. All right. So, guys. Uh, thank you, bro. Thank you, fam. Um, so, guys, we end up winning 2-0. Uh, I think we did really well. I do want to say that... Let me watch this replay real quick. Oh, I was at 100%. Okay, okay. I didn't know they'd be adamant. Well, that could have just... That could have still been jolly with uh, just Showdown lying about rolls like, or, like, logging out. But I would take that risk 100% of the time just because if I can kill Blaziken with it, I win, you know? So... Honestly, if I were them, I would have just Flare Blitz anyway. And if, or if you were gonna predict Sloking with your Bandit Blaziken, kind of just U-turn, because you you get more out of the turn. Basically, by U-turning, you get more out of the turn, right? Like if I stay in like a Demon, you can at least pivot into Clefable. But yeah, uh, I stand by that play. Stand by this play. I 100% stand by clicking Smart Strike here. Uh, first off, I'm Bandit, and Sloking is low, and Landers gets to a kill because it's more likely special defensive. Or actually, no, it's physically defensive. They took 56%. Um, but either way, it would be a lot, right? So that'd be a, a chance for Clefable to get a surprise Thunder Wave or Flamethrower off or just even chip on it so that way Slowking can knock it out. So I stand by that Smart Strike play. And also there's Zapdos taking that Hurricane earlier, man. The fact that Zapdos landed that was great. I'm glad I landed this one too. But uh, that, was, that was a really pivotal turn. Obviously turn 20 because I didn't have to risk um, status. But I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Nido King Kartano once again, just putting in insane amounts of work in both games, man. Bandit Cart is, I agree, Bandit Cart's so hard unless you have Corviknight. Uh, and it has to be Fizz that Corviknight because I have special defensive Corviknight on that one. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Hope you guys are enjoying my return to tournaments as well. And uh, like I said, subscribe. I'm on my way to 300K. That is my end of the year goal. I'm hoping uh, that we hit that by the end of the year. We'll see. And uh, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow with a new video. Also, a few things that you could actually do to help me. Uh, I do have a Samsung affiliate link in my description if you want to help me out for free. Um, it's a reservation for the Samsung Galaxy, but you do not have to reserve it. If you just simply click that link, you can click it multiple times, but if you simply click that link, and I'll even make it as a comment, but if you if you simply click that link, you are helping me out financially. That's it. That's, that's literally it. You click that link, you help me out financially. So anyway, appreciate y'all. Subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.